the government has secured funds for ongoing educational infrastructural projects, uh, particularly the 21st century model junior high schools around the country. At least 10 model junior high schools have been awarded on contracts with completion expected in 10 months. Deputy Education Minister Reverend uh, Dr. John Intimfojo is optimistic that the model school project will not be delayed due to budgetary difficulties or hementeria has more in the following report. The 21st Model Junior High Schools project was introduced as part of the government's educational reforms. The reforms include the provision of modern educational infrastructure. Each model school has a 1,200 student capacity and will include four laboratories, library and a sick bay with emphasis on science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Fritz Ade is an assistant architecture at the Funds and Procurement Unit at the Education Ministry. Because it's a STEM school, we're going to have labs like the engineering, uh, uh, genetic engineering, uh, Internet of Things, and then we also have artificial intelligence to help the technology and then engineering uh, uh, aspects in our schools. Speaking at two separate salt cutting ceremonies at Abenasi in the Ejusu municipality and Jabin respectively, Deputy Education Minister Reverend Dr. Intim Fojo said it is time to improve education infrastructure. A time has come for us to review this. A time has come for us to improve upon this narrative. One of the sure and effective strategies that we are employing to ensure that we cure that weakness of the secondary education quality is to build infrastructure and equip it with all the facilities required to give true secondary education to junior high school peoples. According to the Deputy Minister, the government has made budgetary allocations to ensure the project does not suffer any setback like previous government of Ghana. Funding projects. is already available for every project that we're casting sort for. If one is probably comparing with the narrative of time past, now things have changed. For this government since 2017 when we took power, Every education infrastructure that will be commenced will only be commenced when funding has been earmarked and budget approved for it. So that is sorted. Meanwhile, Member of Parliament for Ejuso and Deputy Finance Minister John Kuma is optimistic the project, when completed, will improve education in the Ejuso area. We thank His Excellency the President for remembering Abnasi in the Jusu constituency to be one of the community beneficiaries of the 21st century uh, junior high schools. Uh, it means a lot to us and we believe that the president's commitment to universal education for every Ghanaian child will be strengthened and deepened in our constituency with this STEM facility that we have here. I also want to take advantage to thank Nananum for giving us the lands so that we can also lobby for more development projects into this constituency. From Kumasi, Ohimi Interior reporting.